Namaste Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Crystal, your High Priestess. Uh, okay. Alright. So, we received... Hold on. Let me light this. So, Pisces... Thank you for those who donated. I received a lot of donations on PayPal. And I have to remember you guys' name. But I will. Um, eventually. So, Pisces, thank you for those who donated to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. All the donations um, when I'm live. And I will say you guys... You guys are blessing me and my channel and helping me grow. So earlier today we received the um, Two of Cups and the Chariot. So this is the uh, public reading. Alright. Now we do have other cards that we received for the extended. We did receive another Two of Cups here. Okay. And then we have for the live monthly subscribers we have the nine of wands and the death card reversed some type of toxic energy or demonic energy here that's driving the relationship or affecting the relationship so clarify several times you know i want to pull overall energy for this message as well with these uh gold cards that i mentioned earlier if you was live uh watching okay so Pisces, um, what is the overall message for the chariot and the two of cups? Now, you know the chariot and the two of cups is about, um, yes, meditate, chakra, focus on your chakra system. And you do have options, Pisces. This is what I said to you guys. Let go of the past love and open up your options. All right, so you have the two of fire, which is the two of wands, the nine of air, and the five of air. So you have a mental mindset or mental, someone is mentally driving you crazy, you're overthinking. Alright, you're not sure about things, two of wands reversed. And then you have the nine of swords and the five of swords. Now the five of swords is like the thief in the night and then the nine of swords is insomnia. So someone has sleepless nights here. Maybe about this love, this this a crazy be Gemini or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this could just be your energy driving you crazy. Or maybe you're waiting for something new. Okay, so that's the overall message for Pisces. Let's get a couple more. And we're going to clarify those cards as well. Pisces. Pisces. What's the message for Pisces for the next 24? Hmm. Page of Earth. And then you have the King of Water reverse. So yeah, Pisces. A lot of us have been coming in reverse lately. So someone has really worked on our last nerves. You're tapped out. Okay. You're trying to hold on to your own love here. Or maybe you, you can't even voice your love. You can't express your love anymore. Because you have been burnt. A lot of people have came into your life and really just took advantage of us. So we have a lack of trust here, Pisces. But we are still opening up for love here. We have the page of earth. Okay, wanting to offer like a, a chat or a small talk with someone, but you're not sure how that will pan out. Maybe you're nervous about offering this to someone. Okay, Pisces, let's uh, pull one more over our message for Pisces spirit. Wow, the star is reversed. Queen of Fire. So you do have a crazy the Gemini who's upset with you and also Aries the Sag. So you have fire as well as Aquarius who's upset. And then you have the six of wands. Someone wants to be victorious. Six of air, six of swords, I'm sorry. And the six of fire. So the six of wands and the six of swords. Six, six here. Wanting to be victorious, wanting to be right. Alright, and then you have the uh, knight and the knight of air reversed. Two knights reversed. Sorry about the dog, you guys. So you have the Knight of Earth, which is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, a crazy Gemini here. And you have the Justice and the Five of Earth. Five of Pentacles, someone feels left out in the cold here. Maybe a Taurus or a Libra. You do have the Hierophant. Okay, so someone is, maybe someone is committed or married somewhere else. But someone had to leave the relationship and maybe someone feels left out in the cold. But you had to do justice. You had to do your due diligence to let this go. Even though you didn't want to. 
Okay. And maybe the energy you guys fell in love quickly, a crazy bitch I'm not, Aries, I mean Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Okay. Hold on. Okay, Pisces. Now the star, the star, if you're not dealing with the Aquarius, this is your energy like trying to heal. Okay. Reversed. And the queen of fire. So your passion perhaps died out. Maybe you're not passionate about this relationship anymore. It just drained you. Alright. So let's continue on. Alright. So let's clarify. <clears throat> Why is the chariot here for Pi <laughs> Pisces? Let me see what this is. The temperance. Whoa. The star. So the top card. We got the temperance reverse. Someone is running out of patience. Maybe a Sagittarius energy here. And then you have the star. Again, twice. And uh, the chariot came up with the king of cups. So another Pisces can Scorpio. Someone is moving towards you. Or you're moving towards someone else that you want to offer love to. Very heavy uh, cancer energy, or it could be another Pisces. Okay, you want to offer this love to. But uh, someone did break your heart with the Page of Wands and the Three of Swords reverse. Okay? So you love them, but you don't trust them. You also have the Page of Cups, the Five of Cups. Why would this water? The Page of Cups, the Five of Cups, Pisces. This was all confirmed with the Chariot. So definitely another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. have the High Priestess here. So maybe someone silenced things, someone cut things off to, to protect their own energy, or someone is just quiet. But someone is mourning the loss of this love here, Five of Cups. It's definitely another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio who loves you or who wants to offer new love. Or you broke up with the water sign or a crazy bitch, I'm now a Sagittarius, and now you want to offer new love to another Pisces or Aquarius. Another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aquarius. That was a lot for um, the chariot. So forward movement towards love. All right? But I'm seeing that some Pisces are afraid of rejection maybe. Have the world and the eight of pentacles. Yeah. Maybe someone is in a distance. You're not sure if they're going to accept this offer. Why is the five of swords here? Five of swords is the thief in the night. Wow. Then you have the moon. And the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe it's a secret. Someone has a secret relationship with another wand. Or another crazy bitch. Gemini. You found out about it because of the moon. And someone is still trying to keep it a secret. But you already know that it's another woman or another man here. Why is the nine of swords here? The nine of swords. Who is having insomnia? Ooh. Okay. Three of wands. Someone is having sleepless nights about a connection. It might be a new connection or a distance. Something in the distance that you're not sure about. Three of Wands turning your back away for your ships to come in. It's like you're waiting for messages to come in. Or you're texting someone and they're delaying the, the response. And you're up all night wondering like why they're not responding. Why they're starting to act different. Because there's another woman involved. Queen of Wands here. And they're trying to keep it a secret. Why is the Two of... Two of of uh, Two of Wands here. Uh, yeah, the King of Swords and a Four of Wands, 11 11. So someone could be in a commitment here, Pisces. King of Cups. Or is this um, King of Swords? I'm sorry, a uh, crazy but Gemini. Could be hiding a secret relationship and not telling you. And then you have the Queen of Wands reversed. And that person is going to leave them. So they perhaps probably left you for another Queen. Not a queen, but someone who's a non-factor here. And then, um, yeah, four swords. They're going to regret the decision eventually, Pisces. But it's going to be too late because you're moving on with the chariot. You're already moving towards a new love. You're opening yourself up to a new love. Why is the chariot here again? The queen of swords. Wow. I mean, the justice is reversed. So, yeah, something was unjust. Someone was dealing with another crazy Gemini or the crazy Libra Gemini was dealing with another woman behind your back. 
I mean, this is the page of swords. I'm sorry, Pisces. I thought it was the queen. So this is a page of swords. So someone could be stalking you, another cancer, or crazy, but Gemini. After they left you, they decided to stalk your page and see what, keep tabs on you to see what you're up to, what you're doing. Why is the two of cups? Wow. Okay. Um, the page of cups and the two of wands is here. I didn't even get a chance to shuffle. So you have the two of cups. The same cards came back out. Okay. Um, another, the page of cups. Someone wants to apologize. And someone is the two of wands. Someone is waiting to apologize. Okay. Someone is waiting to reconcile this relationship. Two, two, two. You might start seeing two, two, two. Someone is like, come hell or high water. Page of Cups. Someone wants to apologize. They have the scroll. They have the honesty here. They have the fish here. They want to catch you. They have their cup of love. So someone wants to offer this to you. All right. These cards are beautiful. Now, we do have the king. That was the overall message. Was the king of wands reversed. Aerial Sag. So this Aerial Sag looks worn out. No, this is a King of Cups. I'm sorry, Pisces. But why do we look drained? <laughs> sorry. Maybe the water, because, you know, we are emotions. We are ruled by emotions. So we're overwhelmed. That's what I'm getting. Reverse. Maybe you're drowning. I like his jewelry on his wrist here. The, um, the mala beads. So let's see. So we have the King of Cups. Let me tell you the energies. The Queens and Kings we have is uh, Crazy, the Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aerial, Sash here. You don't have any earth. So if you're dealing with the earth sign, they're not coming towards you here. Why is the king of water reverse though? Mm, came out very prominent here. Let's see. The knight of swords. Someone who's very just... They, re, they react and think later. So you have a king and a... Um, Knight of Swords, a crazy big Gemini here. Someone is immature and someone has a harsh, they're harsh with, with their words. Someone likes to just react and think later. Someone could be cold. Someone could be stalking you. Like, someone could be seeking revenge as well. Because of the breakup, someone could be trying to hurt you back if they feel like you hurt them. They feel like you moved on. Someone is going to try to hurt you and, you know. Let me see. Why is the page of earth? Ooh, okay. Let's see. And you have the king of cups. Wow, Pisces. You have another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio who's your soulmate. And if you don't see them or her, you need to reach out and open your mouth. You have the nine, the nine of pentacles reversed and the her hermit. Come out of hermit mode and open up. Stop trying to be single. There's a Virgo energy. You might have Virgo rising or moon or uh your venus okay or you might be turning your back on a on a virgo but if you're not dealing with a virgo this is you pisces like in hermit mode not wanting to move towards a new relationship because you're stuck in love why is this why did it make the king of cups look so weird <laughs> okay th this is the king of cups like someone wants to the king of cups is very um, a very private person like they will love you in silence they won't tell you so Pisces I see two different stories we're dealing with a crazy bit Gemini Sagittarius or Pisces Cancer Scorpio definitely heavy Cancer and Gemini here what's the advice you also have the page of uh, earth reverse so someone is afraid yeah the strength. Someone that doesn't have the strength to confess their love to you. Or this is you. You're afraid. Why are you afraid? Go after what's yours. But if you're a female, allow him to chase you. You do not hunt a man. Okay. Let me see. What is the advice? Mm, page of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords is reversed. So someone is not going to come for the next 48 right now towards you Pisces because the page of pentacles again is like no communication not or really taking too long to even ask for a conversation someone is not even ready to be honest Pisces about how they truly feel someone loves you but they're not going to tell you they probably want you to be depressed or suffer was it um Rita Frida Frida I think this is Frida here she had a very tremendous relationship 
turbulent relationship with uh, her her husband. They was just they had open relationship, open marriage, open. I mean, it was just crazy. All right, so the message Pisces is to. Um, Why well, have a lot of swords towards the end of this reading? Eight of Swords is like a mental, um, mentally going crazy, thinking negative. And then a the Five of Swords reverse. You don't trust someone. But you have love for someone or someone has love for you. You need to just confess your love. Or you will lose this connection with this, with this person. What's the final advice here? And a Page of Wands. Get rid of this Queen of Wands because we're tired of her. So you have the Page of Wands. Okay, Passion. You're sexually passionate towards someone. Like a kid, you feel like you feel like you're a kid again. Or like a young love. Alright. Let's grab the oracles. Okay, Archangel Michael. What's the advice for Pisces? Innocence. This situation is already resolved. Innocence here. Okay, so let's read it. Archangel Michael is holding you in a comforting embrace, assuring you of your innocence. Ask him to help you. Forgive yourself and let go of guilt, which is heavy emotions that keeps you from experiencing inner peace. By saying, Archangel Michael, Thank you for helping me forgive myself for whatever event that is and for anything else I blame myself for. Please help me release all self-blame from my mind, body, and emotions. Feel the sensation of deep release as Archangel Michael helps you embrace your true innocence. Your past behavior could never undo God's perfect handiwork in creating you as a powerful, loving, and much-needed being of light and love. The possible specific meaning, the individual you're inquiring about is innocent, purify or detoxify. You can trust that the situation you're asking about, you can trust the situation that you're asking about, focus on other people's good qualities instead of their mistakes. The prayer, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others. Help me to embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace. Wow, this is gonna make me cry, child. Okay, ooh. Okay, God. <laughs> Let's do the prayer. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Psalms 50-15. <laughs> it sounds similar to the reading. I mean the card. The word, the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. Psalms 33-4.